Dirty little basement dolls. Filthy. Getting ready to wash them. They're plastic. Probably not worth much. So I don't think we can mess this up too badly. They do have eyes that move. <laughs> this one seems to be kind of broken. And eyelashes. Their hairs are train wreck. <laughs> this one is does not move except for at the neck. It does have moving eyes. Filthy dirty. Terrible hair. Not jointed. We used a dry toothbrush and a little kid's specialty Q-tip. You can see the difference between the eyes. <laughs> Easiest thing to do, use a toothbrush with a little bit of soapy water. And then wipe it off with a little rag. And then start again. Voiding joints. This is pretty amazing with the little light soap and toothbrush. It really just takes it right off. Voila! This doll is really dirty. She's been bathed several times. <laughs> <laughs> Giving her a little upside down shampoo. And I'll rinse this off just upside down. Trying to not get it in the eyes and the neck joint. Then I will put conditioner on her hair. think she was in a flood. The basement did flood. And they also ran a wood stove. Here's my little doll after her bath. I shampooed and conditioned her hair. She looks so much better. Wow, check that out. The conditioner made a big difference in the hair. Wow, she ended up getting a bit of a comet bath out of desperation. I wouldn't do that on any yeah. other type of doll. I mean, she's a hard rubber. Mm -hmm. She's squishy. She's not stuffed. So that was pretty benign for that type of doll. To note, the comet was a paste of comet on a toothbrush, which finally got all the grime off of this doll. Now we're looking at the hair, and I don't know how this is going to come out like anything, but it's going to be interesting. Here she's going in for the hair dunk. So we want to just get some water on there. And then next we're going to apply the shampoo. Get it good and wet. This was a two-person job, so we have her lathered up now. Now we're going to rinse it off. Now we're letting the conditioner <laughs> soak in. I don't think there's going to be much hope for this hairdo.